Hey guys, Ben here with Hamilton Bait and Tackle. We're excited to announce that we're now a dealer for caching fishing rods. The caching team hand turns all of their blanks at their manufacturing facility located in North Carolina. Watch as the caching team walks you through how these blanks are made. Welcome to Cashin Fishing Rods in Sanford, North Carolina. I'm Dr. Matthew Cashin and you are at the headquarters of Cashin Fishing Rods. And I want to take you on a tour and show you exactly how a Cashin blank is made today. Come on, let's go on back. All right, so we're in the back for blank production. And making a fishing rod blank, it all starts with carbon fiber prepreg. This is the Icon prepreg. This is our CRT prepreg. The Icon prepreg, it, and it's called prepreg because there are carbon fibers, and you can almost see the lines in it that run unidirectionally with the lines, and it's pre-impregnated with epoxies. Those epoxies are what make our prepreg unique make it lighter, make it stronger, more durable, and gotta have that sensitivity. The Icon Prepreg has a higher grade fiber in it to give it that ultimate end performance. So we've got our Prepreg here. This table is designed to cut out our patterns. So we're gonna come, this machine, depending upon if we're cutting a, a jig rod, a flipping rod, a cranking rod, the pattern dictates all the action and the power of the rod. So this machine is cutting those patterns out. Here we are, we're coming over to tacking. So once the pattern is cut out, we're gonna tack it to this long steel mandrel. If you can see this right here, this mandrel is our most valuable asset. It gives the rod everything. It's power, it's action, that in combination with the flag and the shape of the material that we're cutting out. So we're getting it tacked right here. It's gonna be a nice seam. A lot of care has to go into this. The tacking is absolutely critical, keeping our seam straight, the right amount of tack, to make sure it stays on the man. All right, now we're gonna go over to rolling. All right, we're inspecting a roll right here. This looks really good. So this, this table, this is called a rolling table. We're gonna pull our flag over. We're gonna put it on the rolling table. We're gonna push the buttons. Then the top platen's gonna to come down, the bottom platen goes back, and it rolls the pattern over the mandrel. So now you've got what, the, what really starts to look like a fish rod. The next step is gonna be wrapping that material with a cellophane tape. So, and our process is really important in the rolling, the tacking, everything, that all the fibers stay directionally in the in line. So we want all those fibers run from the butt to the tip really straight so it gives it good performance, good sensitivity, and the strength. It's really important to protect the integrity of those fibers. Now, we're gonna wrap it with this film. And we call it cellophane. It's actually not a cellophane tape, but it's a tape that's gonna shrink with heat give it some compaction. So we're gonna wrap it really, really critical, the parameters that this tape is wrapped on with. It's really critical, the chemical composition of what this tape is. So we're wrapping it, you can see it's going down and it's being wrapped on right at that spot. Get a good, nice compaction. All right, so we just wrapped our raw rolled blank with our tape. This is what it looks like after the tape. So nice and shiny it's got the tape that is wrapped all the way up the blank this is a blank before it is taped you can see the raw carbon fiber then we're going to tape it that tape is on there really nice and tight we know all the parameters about that how tight that tape is the wraps per inch that is all absolutely critical next we start the curing process so we're going to take those blanks we're going to hang them on a rack and we hang them tip up, we hang them tip up, and then we're gonna push this whole rack in the oven. So this is the oven behind us, just a really tall oven door. That whole rack, that whole rack is just gonna get pushed right in, and we're gonna cure our pot. So the oven does a couple of things. When you get it up to temperature, our epoxies have set cure profiles. 
critical, absolutely critical that we know what those pure profiles are and that we are very consistent because you have to get good wetting of that epoxy throughout the fibers. It, it encapsulates the fibers that you get a good cure matrix. The tape that's going around it, absolutely critical. The tape is gonna shrink, it's gonna give it compaction. You have to know all the parameters of that tape, when it shrinks, how much it shrinks, at what temperature, and knowing the cure profile. This is a very, very critical step in making a good, solid blank. The blanks have now popped out of the oven. They've already cured. That's what sets the epoxies. That's why we call it a pre-preg, because it's pre-impregnated with the epoxies. That's what sets the epoxies. Now I've got a nice, hard part. We remove the mandrel, so all the blanks are actually hollow inside. So we remove the tooling. The mandrel is going to be used again for other blanks another day, but here it is. This is an icon blank right now. Pops out of the oven. It's ready to go. We're going to trim it up. We're going to trim off the pull tab and we're going to trim off the tip a little bit, but then you've got an icon blank that is ready to go up front for assembly and it's ready to get shipped out to you. Uh, it's ready to go on that next fishing adventure with you and hopefully catch a really big one. As you can see after watching that video, these are some of the highest quality fishing rods made right here in the USA. We're currently stocking their core series in both casting, spinning, and their core crappie series, as well as their icon series in casting and spinning. Lastly, I want to touch on their warranty process. This is one of the best in the industry. So if you do have a problem with your casting rod, come on in, pay a $65 replacement fee, pick up a new rod off the rack, and head out the door. There's no more hassle of dealing with sending your rod back to the manufacturer and waiting for them to ship it back. So their core series is going to come with a three-year warranty, and their icon rods are going to come with a lifetime warranty. Best news, we're getting ready to place an order here next week, so if there's something that you want that we don't have in stock, deal with either myself or Jake, we'll get you taken care of. Hope you guys had a great 4th of July, and we look forward to seeing you in the store here soon.